Hi there, I am Vinny, wishing you all a very happy Mother's Day. For Mother's Day today, I bring to you a very special recipe, which is as classic as her. Can be prepared with just three main ingredients and in less than 50 to 20 minutes. Today I bring to you triple kamita. Now triple kamita is my take on the very classic Hyderabadi dessert, double kamita. I'm sure you're gonna love the twist in it. First of all, we will remove the edges of the bread slices. I'm using two bread slices for this. You can double the recipe if you want. Then I'll be cutting it into cubes like this. Just leave them for 10 to 12 minutes. We shall heat up refined oil for frying the slices. I'm using oil. I'll be adding in approximately a teaspoon of ghee for some flavor. Once the oil is hot, we will put in the uh, bread pieces for frying. Make sure the oil is not too hot. We'll fry these till they are golden brown and nice and crisp and then we'll take it out on an absorbent paper. Likewise, we'll be frying the remaining bread pieces too. In a mixing bowl, we'll be taking half a cup of mango puree. I am using frozen mango puree. You can use the fresh one. Just peel and chop the mango and puree it in a blender. Into this, I'm adding half a cup of condensed milk. Mix the two well. Now we'll be blending it together. If you do not have an electric mixer, you can use a whisk to do this. We have mixed it well till it is really nice and smooth. Now we shall assemble the dish. I'll first of all line the fried uh, bread pieces into this. Generally for double kamita, the bread slice is cut into triangles. It is cut diagonally, but we have cut it into smaller pieces over here. It makes it easier this way. Next, I'll be adding on to it the condensed milk and mango mixture. This itself is so delish that you can, you know, you'd always end up making little extra for your indulgence. Next, we'll be adding in few pieces of uh, mango. You can also flavor it with some cardamom powder or you know with some vanilla extract as so ever you like it another layer of bread pieces followed by the mango and condensed milk mixture topped with fresh mango pieces add in a few pomegranate seeds for some pop of color there you can also add in uh, some pistachio almonds to it finishing it with some mint leaves so, we'll be refrigerating it for a couple of hours and then we shall serve it chilled. Do try this recipe. I really hope you all like the recipe. Do make it for your mom or with your mom and make memories for yourself and her. Happy Mother's Day once again.